say hello to expressive, say hello to vintage, say hello to character. Because that's exactly what you're getting with these lenses. Okay, enough of my movie intros, let's jump right into it. This here is the 43 millimeter dual lens lens. It's part of a four, well, five now with the 21 millimeter coming out. A five lens set. So there's the 21 millimeter, 31 millimeter, 43 millimeter, 58 millimeter, and the 85 millimeter, which you can get in either PL or EF mount. Now, before I get into the meat of how vintage these lenses are and why I'll be adding them to my arsenal, how did I come to these lenses? Because I'm sure you already know, the only time I talk about a piece of equipment is if I've recently or am currently using it. So I was introduced to these lenses when working on a commercial for a merch company called Prevail, which I'm wearing. Check them out. When asked about what I wanted to shoot on by my DP, I told him that I wanted something unique, something with character. And he pulled out these babies. Now, the first thing that I noticed about these lenses is the weight and the build quality. These lenses are super compact. They're not super huge lenses, which is important to me because when I'm on a more bare bone style shoot, I wanna be able to throw my camera on my gimbal. So having something that's not super huge, super long, or has a weird shape to it makes for an easier balancing system. But usually there's a compromise with that, which is build quality. But that's not the case with these joints. They're very, very solid. I'm not sure if this is metal or what it is, but this thing feels like a mini tank in my hands. Holding it for the first time, I was expecting my DP to say that each of these lenses was around $2,000 or $2,500, but no, that's not the case at all. These lenses are only a thousand bucks a piece. So that's the next great thing. If you want to grab these cinema lenses, you're not having to drop an arm and a leg, but the build, the quality, and the character you're getting is arm and leg worthy. So on the shoot, we partnered with them with the Red Gemini. Immediately first shots, I noticed the softness to the skin and the halation which these lenses give. Now halation is something that we look for in shots, but normally with lenses at this price, they don't retain their sharpness. Yet again, that's where these lenses shine. They're soft yet sharp. So there's a vintage look to it, but it's still very, very precise. To me, I would say these lenses are a good second set to have behind the Athena lenses, which I spoke about last week. If you saw my last video, we use those for a very clean look, but they have no real character to them. So they're safe. While the dual lens are precise, yet they take enough risk with their look to stand out from the crowd. Now on top of that, there's this rainbow flare that these lenses feature. If you look on the site, dual lens promotes this special rainbow flare when wide open as a trait you'll see in every lens, which does seem to be the case, but it seems to be very proud in the 43 millimeter. For that reason, we shot on this particular one a great deal. Another great thing about these lenses is that unlike most cinema lenses, they have a 72 millimeter filter thread. So for guys who like using really cool screw on filters to get effects, this is something you can do with these lenses without having to spend a nice lump sum on a four x five version of your filter. We got some really cool effects that day with this sort of ghosting filter from Amazon. I was really happy with these shots. Now I've talked a lot about the lenses, but I think showing you guys footage is what will really help you the most. But before I show you some shots, if this is the type of content you enjoy, please hit that subscribe button for more and smash that notification bell so you can be the first to see my upcoming videos. Also, we may give one of these away in a future giveaway. All right. so. For your eyes, here are some of my favorite shots we got on these lenses. Yeah. I have to say that if you're looking for some affordable and somewhat unique cinema glass, then these may be the perfect set for you. But if I'm being totally honest, every piece of gear, every lens has to have its faults and its weaknesses. So what are the weaknesses of these lenses here? Now, in order to do that, I'm gonna have to have a more personal experience with these. So let's jump out in the field and get you guys an even deeper view of what these lenses are capable of. Oh, good morning, good morning, good morning. Uh, as y'all see, it is super, super foggy out. Um, we finna go test the dual lens lenses out or do lenses, however the best way to say that. I think I like do lenses. I'm not saying do lens lenses. That's weird. Anyway, we're going to test the do lens out today. Uh, 
with my brother and a friend of mine named Brian. So yeah, we're gonna show y'all uh, what we doing. Side note, y'all tell me in the comments, has anybody noticed that the design of the Doolin's logo reminds them of the Dune logo? The logo from the movie Dune? Yeah, like, did they intentionally do that? Like, I I don't know. I, I, I might be, you know, reaching. That might be a reach, but... Yeah, so we're gonna get out here. We're gonna get some shots with each and every lens. Um, I don't have the 21 millimeter yet. Of course, it hasn't like, you know, came in, but uh, I do have uh, the 31 millimeter and so on and so forth. So let's do it. I'm not gonna harp about these lenses any longer. You've seen the shots. You be the judge if they are for you or they're not. But these were a few things about the lenses that I personally didn't like. For starters, I noticed on the 43 millimeter that the iris reel is slightly tighter than that of the other lenses. That may not be a big issue to most, but it was just really weird to me. If any of you guys have these lenses, please let me know if you've experienced the same thing. Another thing is, the rainbow flaring that is promoted with these lenses is very, very pretty, but I wish it was a little more potent in each lens. There were moments that the sun was in the corner of my shot and I thought it would be there and it just wasn't. And even being wide open, I really only noticed it when I was using the 43 millimeter. So that kind of was a letdown and also I don't want to have to shoot wide open in order to get that characteristic. So in my book, that's a little bit of a negative. Um, also concerning negatives from my experience, and this is a really nitpicky one, I didn't notice before, but there was a moment when the front lens cap got wedged inside the slot of the case, and when reaching in to grab it and pull it up, I noticed how sharp the edges are inside of the slots where the lenses sit. Now, if I had been moving really fast and didn't know, I could have probably cut my fingers up a little. And so knowing that, it's not a big deal, but that's just a warning for you guys. The only other cons with the lenses that I know of uh, is one, I've heard it takes a while to get these when ordering them, but I see that they are available on B&H, so that might not really be a problem. Uh, we're gonna call this kind of like a bonus uh, negative. <laughs> and I hate to give this another negative because I'm saying I'm gonna get these lenses. But while sitting here holding this, talking to you guys, I noticed the back just, it keeps coming off. Like, it, it's not very tight. Like, look at that. I'm not squeezing at all. Um, and, and, and that's kind of aggravating. Like, I'm sitting here talking to you guys, and it's just easily turning in my hand. Um, and so that's, that's kind of a, that's a negative. Uh, again, I, I love the image quality of these things. Uh, I think the character that it gives is great. Um, but that is another negative for me. With that being said, if you want to see these in action on one of my recent projects, I have the link right around here. But other than that, I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.